hello precious friends i hope this video finds you well before i proceed i want to state it clear uh firstly this video is not meant to malign a person of pastor wf komui in any way and uh, as a matter of fact um one of the uh, man of god that i cherish i love and respect so much and that has affected me as well is Pastor W.F. Komui. I love him. I love him. I've talked about him. So, some person who are close to me, they are aware of that. However, just the way Pastor W.F. is a citizen of Nigeria, so I am also a citizen of Nigeria. So I want to hear my mind and opinion regarding uh, his latest uh, a cancer. You know, I saw in the Vera video the cancer he gave to Nigerians. You know, uh, while I listened to Pastor W.F. Komui, I listened to the video. To be candid, I feel very, very uncomfortable, you know, very, very uncomfortable with um, with the the things that we said in the video. Pastor W.F. Kobuyi said that we should pray for uh, Pablo Escobar, Tifnubu, you know, Tifnubu, yeah. They said we should pray for him and then that God used them and God can use anybody. Uh, Daddy Kobuyi, sir, with all due respect, uh, I'm your son, I'm your child, I love you so much, I honor you, but on this, I beg to disagree, I disagree very well. I want to ask, is Daddy Kobuyi really in Nigeria, or is it that maybe you've been out of the country for some several years, you know, you have been doing ministry in the other part of, of the country, uh, in the other part of the world, rather. So, uh, because that video, I doubt you have been in Nigeria, sir. However, I want to trade on the way of Elijah. Elijah, what never said, uh, I never read in my Bible one day where Elijah said we should pray for Ahab, we should pray for the government. No, Elijah, Elisha, Jeremiah, these were prophets that that called the government of the day to order. These were prophets that speak the truth uh, to the eyes, to the face of the of the government of the day. So. I cannot, you cannot tell me that, come you. We should not criticize. No. Firstly, we are in democracy. Now, what thing to checkmate the government of the day, to, to checkmate the government of the day, to call them to order, is when you speak truth to them, is when you, you know, see this, head their mind, you criticize them. Positive criticism, you know, whether positive or negative criticism, is what you use to checkmate government of the day in democracy. It is only a military, a military regime, a military government that cannot just criticize and go free. But democracy, the constitution that we were up to, it gives every citizen the right to criticize the government. That is to checkmate the government. So, it. Uh, 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 Real citizens, right? If the country must move forward, you don't pray for your government. No. You don't pray for them to succeed. You call them, you hold them accountable. It is messages like this, you know, that uh, the likes of Daddy Komuyi, you know, they be releasing to Nigerians, you know. It is many messages like this that has kept the country backward. You see your government, you know, that a basically public funds, your government, they are misbehaving. You keep saying, pray for them, pray for them. Nobody pray for them to get there, you know. They didn't seek for prayer to say they get there. The person there, that Pablo Escobar, he did everything possible to make sure he's there. He said, steal it, grab it, snatch it, run with it. That was what he did. He stole the mandate of people. He grabbed the mandate of the people. He ran with it. How will you tell me that the Komuyi, I should pray for a thief? That the Komuyi, how will you tell me I should pray for a criminal? How will you tell me I should pray for a drug lord? Whenever the net Nigeria comes to mind now, all the all, all, all the all the foreign nationals, all the foreign all they see is drug. Firstly, Nigeria never had a good reputation in the international community. Now, they now manipulate and put a person who was convicted of drug in the United States and he was made to forfeit over four hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Forfeited is a public news, your word is aware. So whenever the name Nigeria comes to mind, what they see is, is, is a president with a with convicted of drug in the United States. So how will you tell me that the I don't understand. Somebody please make me understand. How will you tell me I should pray for such a criminal, such a scrupulous element? A Pablo Escobar. This is a, a, a person when he chose a fellow Muslim to become his running mate. All because he wanted to convince the likes of Danny Komuyi. You know what happened? 
He went to hire some cats on the street. Hire some criminals on the street. He gave them robes of bishop. Daddy, come on, I want to ask you. The truth is on the internet that the people that attended that meeting with you were not brief bishops. These were street boys that were given the roles of bishop. Daddy, come on, I want to ask you. Can this thing be done in Christendom? Can any Christian dare give uh, the robes of malams? The, the robes of Islamic clerics give it to some street boys to parade as a Islamic clerics can such thing be done if it is done if anybody mistakenly did that will the country not be on fire this is the problem rather than hold, holding our leaders accountable rather than speaking truth to power we go there we say truth to them we saw this way I think there was a, a prophet that is similar in the bible a, a certain king was to go to war. Every prophet, they went there to seek the presence of the king. Hold oh, thou king, go to war, go to this, you will succeed, you will do this. Only one prophet came. I think prophet, Mike, I can't remember the name of the prophet. He said to the king, if you go to this battle, you will not come back alive. For, for, for a country to have a good government, good leaders, we must at all times speak truth to government. Message this like this, Daddy Komoye. Messages like this, cancer like this, it's what has kept Nigeria backward. It's what has kept uh, 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 the country backward. True, rich citizens don't pray for leadership. No, you don't pray for your government. You hold them accountable. If they are thieves, say it to their face, they are thieves. After Elijah, after Elijah, he slept for 130 prophet of Baal. What happened? Jezebel threatened Elijah. He said, I'm going to cut off your head. Elijah ran away. When the ladder later showed up, later showed up, and uh, I think there was a tire, he locked up heaven. He said it was not going to be ready in this for three and a half years. When he later showed up, Ahab said, Are you the trouble? He said to Elijah, He said, Are you the troubler of Israel? And Elijah he looked at the king, he said, I am not the troubler of Israel. It is you and your house or your father's house that are the, that is the troubler of Israel. The problem we have in Nigeria is that we don't yet have Elijah's that can speak truth to power, that can look at government, look at governor and say to them, you are a thief, you are a criminal, you stole the people's money, return it. You are not governing the people well. Sit up. Messaging like this. I beg all my followers, all my audience, please, never you, never you, never you take such message serious. You know what you are going through? Before they say criminal, you know, the mandate of the people who has given to him at night, you know, we know uh, how the country, him and his, his party, they brought the country backward. Before, before it became, uh, what's it called? The, the president, the president select, you know, how much was petrol? The, the, the masses were crying that petrol, before a uh, PDB took over, has skyrocketed over from less than 100 to close to 200. Pablo Escobar stole the people's mandate. He came to power. Rather than to see how to make the cities happy, that petrol has skyrocketed to over 700. How much is dollar to Naira? As I speak, as I yesterday, in black market, dollar to Naira is over 900. And Pastor WF Komuyi, he said we should pray for such criminal element. We should pray for, for a drug baron. The Bible said, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Shall we continue pray for criminals that grace may abound in the country? I disagree with such message. May God give in Nigeria. The lives of, of our bishop, let our bishop be down, sir, of blessed memory. May God give Nigeria the lives of Elijah, Elijah, and Jeremiah. This is not the message we need at this time. This is a message that will turn the country again backward. Many years ago, we were told that television was the devil's blood. But today, they are preaching to us of said television or semi talent or social media platform. Please, sometimes, guys, all my followers, if you have embraced such message for years, the time has come. You must all let such message. If you have hold on to such cancer, the time has come. You got to filter it. I understand First Corinthians chapter 13. He said, pray for authority. Yes, we pray for a godly authority, not a demonic authority, but a satanic authority. Tinubu authority is a criminal one because the people didn't give him the mandate. He stole it. I cannot pray for Tinubu. Rather than to call him what it is, is a thief. It's a drug baron. It's a Pablo Escobar of our time. God bless you guys. I don't want this video to be too long. Please.
Uh, guys, follow me on YouTube as well. As it is on Facebook, only go on Facebook, so it is on YouTube. Please follow me. Should there be an issue on Facebook, uh, you should be able to catch up with my update on YouTube. Just go on to my YouTube channel and go to YouTube, search me at Holy Ghost Son. And uh, please also follow my backup channel on Facebook, all right? Because these people, I'm going to be giving it to them, bomba to bomba. Hit the time has come, they, they must understand the country belongs to us all, not to some us. Elements. We all own the country. We all have the right. They have the right. You know, the constitution give us the right to exercise our own authority. All right. God bless you.